Deathstroke number 32, Christopher Priest writing Carlo Pugilain on the art. Uh, we have Deathstroke after, uh, uh, what is it, the Human Dynamo. And that's his next assassination attempt. Batman is trying to stop him. And then we flash back. So some action with them chasing after him. Deathstroke's got a flying car. Because, uh, you know, comics. And we flash back to kind of the setup for this. And why, why you know, Batman said, oh no, I'm going to shut down all of your targets. They're all in protective custody. Uh, and we kind of get to this, and it, you know, Deathstroke's with Talia, and he's like, "Ah, you're telling me the truth. You're lying to Batman and your, your father, but you're telling me the truth about Damien." Uh, and you know, we're kind of playing with that that mystery still of if, whether or not he's the real father. And ultimately, uh, it's this big action scene, and it turns out that the Dynamo, the Dynamo, the Dynamo, if I say it properly, uh, he actually took the the, the hit out on himself. He wants basically assisted suicide. Yeah. yeah, he wants to go out fighting a villain. Yeah, and you know, you know, blizzard glory and all that. But Batman, of course, is is uh, skeptical about this. He doesn't. He's still not okay with this. Uh, is he? He tries to take him to the to the watchtower. Yeah, he gets the the the, the 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 beam to come in and take them away. Um, this was all right. Um, that, that didn't set my world on fire. I like a lot of the ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's I think it's one of the clunkier issues that we've had. I have priest fatigue. I just I don't remember anything that's going on from issue to issue anymore. Uh, there's so always he always drops you right in the middle of whatever's going yeah. on. You know that so makes it hard to like what happened in the last one and then the ending. I am not a fan of this ending. I feel I, like I, it I, reminds I me of what he's. It reminded me of what he had said about Dick Grayson, and it's like, mm. well, if you don't like Dick Grayson, then stop putting him in the, the books that you're using, please. Um, That's fair. I, I think there's only one little bit that I don't like from from the the Dick stuff, and it's a line right at the start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just for context, the, the, what we're referring to here is this weird because we had this in the first issue of the arc where you had interviews. the. The interviews with uh, Jericho and Dick. Uh, Dick being dressed as Robin and Jericho. Yeah. They're talking about their, their fathers, if you will. Um, no. Whether well, well, literal or otherwise. Um, and at the end of this, we see Dick, that like, he takes off his mask, it switches to colour. Um, and it turns out this is a video that Damien's watching. Yep. So Damien's coming out to play next issue. Which, uh, you know, which makes sense to me, because, I mean, this is a story about Damien, essentially. It's, you know, it's the it's the... Batman Deathstroke fighting over him. Yeah, there was, oh, there was one random page in the middle where there was a scene with Damien that I felt was really kind of awful. He yeah. was a bit younger, yeah. and he, it was his face, his lips, especially. It was, I think. Well, yeah, and it was I think meant to be from that first Morrison art from Batman and Son, where yeah. he's he's coming straight from the Al Ghuls, and they're like, "You have to deal with him now." Um, it felt really shoehorned well, into me. Um, yeah, that scene. Yeah. I agree. That, that so, did. Uh, the, the one line I really didn't like from Dick that was right at the start, where you know he says you know he's talking about what the Robin outfit means and you know, uh, you know the the bright colors and made him a target and you know and then he says you know I worked hard to earn it and then you took it all away, which I was like okay at the start of the issue I was like okay because I don't know who he's talking to but when I get to the end there's Damien I'm like really okay that doesn't so seem right. I'm a huge fan of Damien in. And Dick's relationship, yeah. like I feel like they were the best pair of Batman and Robin we've had in a good long while, just because how they offset each other. Mm-hmm. So this coming from Dick just doesn't. Well, that's make the thing. I don't think it is Dick now because when I saw it was him in the Robin suit the first issue, I assumed, oh, this is from the past. This is like a weird meta thing where yeah. it's Dick as Robin at that age talking about Batman. But now that it's a video that Damien's watching in present day, I'm like, okay, well, Dick looks younger here. He's not like he wouldn't be recording this for Damien. Yeah, I feel like this is. I don't know. It would it <laughs> made more uh, sense coming from Tim, but that's not Tim. Joe, you know I think is worth noting is throughout the issue. Uh, you no, know, Deathstroke's talking. It's like, yeah, Bruce Wayne's probably Batman. Maybe uh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? But if yeah. he's got that, he can probably link Dick to 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 Robin, right? Yeah pretty easily so could he have been setting this up is this part of a plan that we have not you know yet to see i just i don't understand what the thing is if like i don't actually think they're changing his parentage but why 
why would Deathstroke? That's what I'm not following. That's why I have priest fatigue. Uh, what what's the end game here of Damien not being Bruce's and being Slade's? I think it's, assuming this is a plan from Talia. Uh, I think the the ploy is to kind of turn him back against Batman and you know have her back on the the side of the Al Ghuls, you know, embrace that darker side of him. If that's the plan, you know, because Deathstroke will nourish that darker side to him for her, so that he'll but kind of fill that. He's purpose. terrible with children. Oh, absolutely. So the, even if that's the case, why not just get like she could clone another one, and like, we've seen her do it before. So yeah. like here. Is that is this There's, something that comes out of the the Wayne dot exe that we see uh, get initiated? That's a good point. Yeah. Is that where this footage comes from? It and might so, well be. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm on the verge of dropping this. I just I was enjoying it really early on, and I'm just again. I think I'm just burned out on Priest right now. I, I have to admit, I I I actually have no idea what happened in this, the last issue of this. I can't remember. Me neither. I I remember the I first part of the story way better. Last issue, issue? I, c- I couldn't tell you what happened in it. Me neither. That's fair. So, did you, you remember it, Connor? Yeah. I'm struggling. I'm, uh, no, I, I'm agreeing. That's... I'm just thinking. <laughs> like, you know, the, the problem, though, I have is, or not problem, but just to, to offset that, is when I'm reading this, I didn't feel like, oh, what happened last issue? I'm not going, oh, where were we? Because it drops no. you in, in a new event each time and, you know, and flashes back to the relevant right. information, I didn't feel like I was missing by not remembering the specifics of last issue. Well, I don't, mm. feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing anything, but what I feel is he's throwing so much out there that when we can't remember the issue previous, mm. then it's, it's kind of a problem because he's not That's taking fair. time to touch on or giving stuff time to breathe. A, a, a recap page would be helpful, I agree. Yeah, I'd love that in all when the books, to be honest. But when it was, yeah, when it was going, you know, twice a month, you didn't really notice scary. it. No, no, so. I agree. It's, since it's since it has switched to monthly, it has been a, a little bit harder to remember all the things because we read so many comics in a month that yep. uh, between the two issues, there's a there's a lot that, that you know we, uh, we fill in that. Way. Honestly, I, I remember because I, I wasn't reading it at first, and I caught up. And I think I enjoyed the first chunk of it more because I read it in a binge. I read it all pretty close together, yeah. back to back. I think the longer I've been reading it monthly, the less I've been enjoying it because mm. it's getting harder and harder to kind of keep track of what's going on. I think the Defiance art was pretty fun and there was a lot of stuff yeah. going on. There was a lot of yeah. other characters. Um, I feel like this arc, though, well, it had a really strong start. Uh, this issue and last issue weren't as strong. Yeah. yeah, I agree. There, I again, mean, I like there, this stuff. Go ahead. There, there are still things I really like, like, you know, when it gets to the end and it's revealed that, you know, he took the contract out on himself because he wanted to go out in the blaze of glory and, you know, Deathstroke just shoots him. It's like, no, I, I'm not respecting that. That's not what the job was. The job was just to kill you. Right. And you know, he's just like, yeah, okay, that's done, dealt with. And he, he just, it's so cold and uncaring about it. I like that stuff. Yeah. Uh. No, I liked I liked the stuff with with Batman stopping him. I liked the the idea of seven Waynes, so we don't even know which one is the real Bruce Wayne. Like I think that's interesting, but I don't feel we spend enough time on it. Uh, and like I could care less what's on the Wayne.exe. And like I don't think like we always talk about stakes like in movies and whatnot, but I know he's still gonna be Bruce's son. However, this shakes out. So like. There's no doubt. He's always going to be Robin. It's not like he's going to become Kid Deathstroke. So. Uh. That's fair. I, I do have to question as well at the end. Why does Damien have a fidget spinner? Because he's fidgety. Yeah, but he's got swords uh, it, for that. Yeah, but. <laughs> no. It, it makes sense. If any kid's going to have an annoying fidget spinner, it's Damien Wayne. He's fidgety. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh... I don't know. I, I, I have to admit, this was the last. You know, this was the second last thing I read. Right? This was, you know, I, I, this was not in my. You know, it was like when I when I came to like, okay, what have I got left today? And the day of recording, what have I put off till, till today to read? And it, you know, Deathstroke was one of those books, and it's kind of been in that that it, realm it for was, a while. Out of all the regular writer ones, it was definitely uh, the the last thing I had. Yeah. Mm. So patience a little bit weak on it right now. I mean. All right, so uh, we'll read the book, actually, before we move on. Uh, Connor? Uh, 6.5. I think it's a, a bit messy, but I like the ideas. And weird Damien in the middle of the side, I, I like the art. Matt? 
5.5. I'm actually going with a straight 5. I'm, I'm kind of middling on this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, not, 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 not high scores all around for Deathstroke.